India's 1 billion people live in her villages. Nearly half of rural students drop out of school before the fifth grade. By conventional standards, rural India is probably the last place you'd expect to find inventors and innovators. And yet, the Honeybee Network has discovered more than 10,000 of them over the last 15 years. It's a network of oddballs, crazy people. And you meet one crazy person and ask him or her about another and another. So there's a chain of creative people and crazy people, which essentially constitutes what Honeybee Network is all about. Professor Anil Gupta is a bit of an oddball himself. He teaches agronomics at the Indian Institute of Management, located in Ahmedabad, the business capital of the Western Indian state of Gujarat. The institute is counted among the best management schools in the country. By 1990, Gupta was a well-known authority on biodiversity conservation. He had traveled extensively in rural India and understood what farmers were doing at the grassroots level. But there was a guilt. And the guilt emerged because I was an interested scholar getting youth service. Wasn't I exploiting the poor people in the ideas market? After all, I have published so much. That is what made me famous. That's what attracted, generated this request and these assignments. My income increased. But when I looked at my income the return, where did I find the line about how much of it has gone back to the people whose knowledge I wrote about and therefore became rich? He decided to document and publicize the ingenuity of the villagers through a newsletter. The first newsletter was printed in English in 1990. It was five pages long and set out what Gupta wanted to do. The Gujarati version, called Lok Sarvani, would be launched later. He just typed it and the cycle styled it at the time, 200 copies, and sent it to scientists, professionals, basically the people in whose mind we wanted to create some space for the knowledge of people. So first issue did not go to the farmers as many, only a few farmers. But primarily it went to the policy makers, to the scientists, to the volunteer organizations, the government workers, to impress upon them that knowledge of the people counts. The initial response was largely positive. Fortunately for Gupta, his school decided to support the newsletter with office space and staff. We have given ourselves a mandate through faculty discussions to make a thrust in the area of innovation and entrepreneurship. And Professor Gupta's um, proposal fitted right in. We also had given ourselves a mandate many, many decades earlier to be involved in rural development, management of rural development. And this also was in accordance with this. And so we felt that this would be a very excellent uh, way by which we could make that contribution. The newsletter was on its way now. But soon enough, Gupta realized that he needed more manpower. 190 square kilometers of Gujarati hinterland was a large area to search. With limited funds, he needed volunteers and looked to the local government colleges, the Gandhi Vidya Peets. Nearly 30 students of rural studies came forward to help Honeybee as part of a summer project. Yes, colleague, my best cut to the theory of profession is 50 cents than a professional book that read by and be an SATIA. I am a good just to turn out just an interview. I am a man of Savio Mate selection for Roma. I am a put on a gram and a villain as Pasina. No sensation for a good man is in a sensation for me. Yes, 50 cents from a door from the BSM meeting that I am a lena. The volunteers began to fan out into rural Gujarat, telling people about honeybee and searching for innovators. Herbal healer Karim Bhai was discovered in Virampur village, 144 kilometers from Ahmedabad. He had extensive knowledge of the diverse herbs of the region and had created new medicines from cough syrups to diabetes pills by mixing them in different proportions. जारे वही मंसूर अमूक आओ आई है ना पर सोमे जारे रिचिंग साइड घरन है आपे संस्था ये बच्चा जो यूँ सीखने हो आपे वही संस्था में आएगा मैं आपे सो ऊपर जीरो मुझे ये बच्चे ये पता चल गया कि ऊपर मनुष्य की लेन देन 
Elsewhere, in Pekor village, 400 kilometers from Ahmedabad, volunteers found Amrud Pai, who was working on his special tilting bullock cart. The regular bullock cart used in most Indian villages has a fixed back portion. Material carried in it would have to be manually unloaded in small bits. Amrit Bhai's cart was made of lightweight material and had a rotating device that would help tilt manure directly from the cart into the furrows. It even had brakes and shock absorbers, never heard of in bullock carts before. Both Amrit Bhai and Karim Bhai featured in the Lok Sarvani, the Gujarati version of the Honey Bee newsletter. Pela. Aloko Maite Legi, a Taravan a Kaburno, Tikai Loksaroni Morolek House. Taravan a Tanak Loksaroni Postama Mari, and a Loksaroni Vati. Tare Manebe Hodan and Teo, and a Maragarnone, Maragarna Sabione, Maragam Lokone, and a Lake Contao, and a Elocone Branch City, a Tapa Gamunam, Loksaroni Vay. Honeybee's popularity began to spread fast. By 1993, the newsletter was being published in a quarterly format, up from twice a year in the first three years. It sold at 5 rupees or 10 cents a copy. Subscription revenues did not amount to much as a whole village often shared a single issue. But Gupta was not complaining. He did not expect Honeybee to support itself for many years. With 2,000 innovations documented, the villagers began to learn from each other. A real network was finally forming. Loksarvani is a very good thing. In the end of the day, the people who are living in the world are living in the world. They are at the same time, though, the database was getting too large for the newsletter staff to manage. Honeybee, which began life in 1990 as a small newsletter, now needed help. In 1993, Shristi was formed to catalog and manage the Honeybee database. Like the newsletter, it would work with help from the IIM Ahmedabad. A loose network of stakeholder organizations that would later be called the Honeybee Network was forming. Shristi began to generate funds through international research projects on innovation using the Honeybee database. While most of this money went back into the documentation and cataloging work, some of it was used to help the Honeybee innovators. Amrit Bhai got 15,000 rupees or $300 to develop a better prototype of his car. Karim Bhai too got some help. Varsoti Karim Bhai Avistarna de Stanik Adivasu Emne Davao to Kartasta. Only so Pranuma Sushi Sansana Parichema Arabo Samiamne Sushi Metamar Suma de Tarishi Tare Emne Kiduke at Davao Banamati Maripas Sadanuna Titanamati Dabao Mixture Kitijuri Kapatunea for the Purkuse. Athol Pasi Amenuko Joyuke, Yavanosa de Leva Matemi Dudu General Majoko, Tinamata Yes Stanika. जंगल अंदर ज्ञान वन बनाने एक सपना मिलता है विचार उन्हें मां रोपा वो बनावा वाड़ बनावा माटे पर सुस्ती संस्थाएं सहायक हैं। The Gyan Van or Knowledge Forest helped Karim Bhai plant and grow his medicinal herbs, but even at this stage in 1996, the Honey Bee Network could not help its innovators develop their ideas into commercially viable products. If anyone had told Gupta about one of the Honey Bee innovators winning an American patent, he would have laughed. But it did happen, just seven years from then. Nineteen ninety-seven was a turning point for the Honey Bee Network. At an international conference organized by the IIM in Ahmedabad to showcase rural creativity, Honey Bee presented some of its best innovations. Policy makers and government officials were invited, as was Amrit Bhai. 
મને એ અધિવેશનમાં એટલા માટે બોલાવેલો કે મારું જે સંશોધન હતું આરોપી બળદ ગાડી આ બળદ ગાડાને જે અધિવેશમાં આવનાર લોકો કે જે આ વિષય તમારા લોકો આવેલા હોય મંત્રીઓ આવેલા હોય અને બીજા પણ ખેડૂતો આવેલા હોય અને જાણકારી મળે અને આ વિષય તમારા લોકો આના માટે કંઈક પ્રયત્ન કરે કે આ સંશોધન લોકો સુધી પહોંચે આ હેતુથી મને આ અધિવેશનમાં બોલાવવા માટે આવ્યો Gujarat government officials liked what they saw. The Gujarat Grassroots Innovation Augmentation Network, Gyan, was set up in 1998. And the network now had the ability to develop innovations into commercially viable products. The government put in 45 lakh rupees, or close to $90,000, into Gyan. Alini Suti, Payana Chutrana Sanchodokone Shodhwanu Kaam Karo. એક વાર એ લોકો આ સંશોધકોને ગામડાઓમાંથી અને બીજા વિસ્તારમાંથી શોધે છે એ પછી જ્ઞાન તેમાંથી એવા સંશોધનો પસંદ કરે છે કે જેના ઉપર વ્યાપારિક સંભાવનાઓ હોય આવા સંશોધનોનું જ્ઞાન તમારી શોધીને ત્યાર પછી તેને ઉદ્યોગ અને સાહસિકતા સાથે સાંકળવામાં આવે છે જ્ઞાન આ કાર્યમાં પેટન્ટ ફાઇલ કરવાનું વ્યાપારિક સંબંધોને લિંકેજ આપવાનું કામ કરી રહી છે Around the same time, Mansukh Patel of Viramgaon village was working in a cotton factory in Ahmedabad. Always one to tinker, he was trying to save farmers the time and effort involved in removing cotton balls one at a time from their shelves. His cotton stripper, he felt, did the job quite well and was already selling it when Shristi found him. Oh, Shristi wala a student aaya. Oh, jo student aaya aane ke baad લીખા કે અમારી એક સંસ્થા ચાલી રહી છે સૃષ્ટિ અને વો અમને આઈઆઈએમ કે અંદર વો અને ગુપ્તા સાહેબ વો સંભાળતા હૈ ઇસકા દો તો ઇસને ફિર હમકો સ્ટુડન્ટ કિયા અને વો જબ અમને મિલા અમને તો એસા લગા કે નહી થોડાક વો ખુદ બોલ ચો અમુ સૃષ્ટિ વાલા કામ કરેંગે જ્ઞાન બિગેન બાય કોલિંગ ઇન એન્જિનિયરિંગ સ્ટુડન્ટ્સ ફ્રોમ વન ઓફ ઇન્ડિયાસ બેસ્ટ કોલેજીસ ધ ઇન્ડિયન ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુટ ઓફ ટેકનોલોજી The students help sort out the engineering flaws with Mansukh Bhai's machine. Next came the designers. This time from the country's premier design college, the National Institute of Design or NID in Ahmedabad. By this stage, Mansukh Bhai was losing his patience. This workshop loaner hated the idea of anyone meddling with his machine. એ નેત્રો છે કે જે વ્યક્તિ સંશોધકે વર્ષો મશીન પાછળ વેડફી નાખ્યા હોય અને પછી સંશોધન કર્યું હોય ત્યારે બહારની કોમેન્ટ વિશે પોતાનો અભિપ્રાય થોડો આકર્ષણ હોય અને ન સ્વીકારે સજેશન્સ અને આઈડિયા અને મનસુખભાઈના કેસમાં પણ એ જ બન્યું અને પાછળથી જ્યારે એમને રિયલાઇઝ થયું કે જ્યારે ફોર્મલ ઇનપુટ અગત્યના હોય છે તો એ પોતે એક્સેપ્ટ કરવા માટે તૈયાર હતા માઇનોર ચેન્જીસ માટે એલેક્ઝાન્ડર તો કોઈ મેરે તો વિશ્વાસ હોવા કે હું ઇધર આ ખુદ કામ કરે ઉસકો મેજરમેન્ટ કરે તો ડ્રોઈંગ બનાવે ઉસકા બી મેં થોડા થોડા વો ડિઝાઇન લીધા ફિર મેં મેરી તરફથી મેં ડેવલપ તો મશીન મેં નહીં કીધા ફિર બાય નાઇન્ટીન નાઇન્ટી નાઇન ધ કમર્શિયલ મોડલ ઓફ મનસુખભાઈ કોટન સ્ટ્રીપર વોઝ રેડી ટુ હેટ ધ માર્કેટ It had cost Gyan close to 6 lakh rupees or $12,000 to develop the product. Mansukh Bhai decided to set up a factory in 2000 called Chetak Agro to manufacture his cotton stripper. Gyan also helped him raise another 6.5 lakh rupees as startup funds. Bhai too finalized four different models of the bullock cart and called it Aruni. Gyan helped him franchise the final design to three entrepreneurs in five districts of Gujarat. He retains the right to sell the cart elsewhere. Main amno growing vegetable. Ye Gujarat na panch jila ma vechu. Ema mane kya sudhi ma tan lakh bhai 1 lakh rupya jao. Main tan mare. અને મેં અમારું જે ડ્રોઈંગ વેચ્યું તે બહુ મિનિમમ કિંમતમાં હોય છે સામાન્ય કિંમતમાં હોય છે જ્ઞાન ઓલ્સો ફોર્મડ એન ઇન્ટેલેક્ચ્યુઅલ પ્રોપર્ટી રાઇટ સેલ ઇન ટુ થાઉઝન્ડ ટુ હેલ્પ ઇનોવેટર્સ ગેટ લીગલ રેકોગ્નેશન ફોર ધેર ડિઝાઇન્સ એ ગ્રાસ ફ્રૂટ ઇનોવેટર હુઝ અપ્લાઇડ ફોર અ પેટન્ટ લેટ સે ફોર અ કોકોનટ હાર્વેસ્ટિંગ મશીન 
is then assured that if he exhibits that product at an exhibition, then a commercial house comes, likes that product, cannot just copy it. Um, uh, he would then be, the commercial house would have to approach him to either buy that product from him, that the patent rights to that product, or set up perhaps a joint venture with him to commercialize the product. But that patent application assures that the, the commercial house cannot just use up that idea. So it just uh, helps an innovator um, in convert that idea into wealth. In 2001, Gyan applied for a U.S. patent for Mansukh Bhai's cotton stripper. When the patent was granted in April 2003, Mansukh Bhai could not believe it. Gyan Sanstha ne apne jo meri U.S. ke jo pattern hai, wo pattern jo register kawa hai, wo jo mere ko April mein jo diya hai, to mere ko bahut anand hua. Apne jo jo khushi hui hai, ye khushi ke hisab se maine to abhi mera kaubar bhi sahi chal raha hai. कारोबार चलता है इसमें भी मेरे बच्चे सब काम कर रहे हैं अंदर तो इसके बारे में वो मेरे को भी ऐसा लगा कि वो मेरे जैसे कोई इनोवेटर्स है इसको भी पैसा मिले जो ये आगे बढ़ सकता है इसलिए मैंने एक पच्चीस हजार का डोनेशन जो नान सस्ता में सुस्ती में दिया है अमृत भाई टू गेव टू थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ फिफ्टी डॉलर टू ज्ञान फॉर ऑल इट्स हेल्प ओवर द इयर्स he has also become a flag bearer for the honey bee network. Villagers meet at his house for short sankal or explore linkages meetings where they are introduced to the network's activities. For Gupta, Amrut Bhai and Mansukh Bhai's small contributions are the first indicators of things to come. The various stakeholders in the honey bee network function as not-for-profit organizations today expecting no monetary gains from the innovators. In the long run, this could change. But in the long term, what I expect is that the entrepreneurs who would license technologies, these innovative technologies, here in India and abroad, possibly will make so much money that they will contribute a part of the profit that they are going to make to make this network viable. Because it is this network which made those opportunities possible for the entrepreneurs. By 1998, Gupta had started to run a six-month campaign with government officials for funds to scale the honeybee network up to a national level. It paid off in 2000 when the National Innovation Foundation was set up. It would get a corpus of 20 crore rupees or four million dollars from the government's Department of Science and Technology. When I have helped to establish to build upon the honeybee philosophy, the model of scouting, value adding, which was going on by, through the efforts of Honeybee Networks, Rishti and Gyan in Gujarat, the government of India thought that this example should be replicated all over the country. Dr. Mashilkar is one of India's most respected scientists and the Director General of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR. NIF has access to CSIR's 38 laboratories, which he believes can help innovators greatly. Let us say in a village in Gujarat, you found that there was some herbal formulation which has been used for a particular purpose. Now, it has been actually developed on the basis of empirical observation and empirical evidence. What the mind about this in CSR do is to provide a scientific basis for that. They do the actual testing, you know, rigorous testing to validate it, so as to say. So together, then we can create a product which can basically go out. NIF's national mandate has also helped Honeybee to scale up its unique Shodh Yatra or journey of discovery to a pan-India level. Once every six months, a 50-member team travels on foot from one village to the next in a selected Indian state looking for new innovations. The Honeybee network has come a long way in just 15 years. They have unearthed over 23,000 innovations, ranging from this bicycle-driven insecticide sprayer to this windmill-driven water pulley to these unique herbal medicines. Kupta estimates that the Honeybee Network has invested close to 11 crore rupees or $2.2 million through its various stakeholders in getting the movement this far. 
the growth of Honeybee Network is an ex is a is a phenomenon by itself, and it shows how the knowledge of the people is important, but how even more important is to learn about dealing with knowledge. Gupta's enthusiasm is infectious. The team presses on to the next village, where Sukranjan Mystery is waiting to display his cement tile maker. He claims it can make tiles that are twice as strong as the conventional ceramic ones at half the price. Another innovator has been discovered. Another link added to the honeybee network. And the search goes on. Oh.